Okay. And I'm going to come back to, to your journey in just a little bit, but I want to ask you a general question about what, like where, where are we right now? I know you had shared some interesting statistics about kind of the state of burnout. It feels like we're working a lot. Um, but kind of what, what's, what are you noticing in the workplace of, of how people are feeling and kind of juggling all the things in this digital world and kind of the lines between work and home being blurred? Yeah, I think that's exactly, you just hit the nail on the head is, we have tried for so long as a culture to separate the personal with the professional. And you can't do that. We aren't robots. Sure, we can try to compartmentalize, right? And some types are better at it than others um, to take, you know, be one person at work and one person at home. But your personal life directly reflects into your professional life and vice versa. So that's the first problem is people are trying to separate it. We're saying we need work-life balance, but that's not what we need. We need balance. Mm -hmm. It's not the the juggling because the truth of the matter is sometimes work is going to take more of your energy and other times your life is going to take more of your energy. So it's not about balancing because that's, that's not, um, it's not really attainable, right? Where we don't live in this ideal world. So we have to learn how to just have balance in our life. And that's the problem is people, that's the problem. Number one is we're trying to separate it. Problem number two is that people do not understand how to operate for their own personality. They are, you know, we're in this era of self self-help, right? People mm-hmm. listening to this podcast, that's what they're doing. They're coming here for self-help, right? And we can read all the books and we can listen to all the podcasts. And yeah, those strategies are going to work for some people. And it's probably the people that have the same type as the person who wrote the book or who's yeah. putting out the podcast, right? And so you can do any strategy <clears throat> to help you create that life balance for a certain period of time. But if you are not tuning into what you uniquely need as you, as your own (laughs) individual self, um, it's not going to be sustainable. And so it's a sustainability problem um, and not and not being aware of our own internal operating system and, and trying to let the world dictate how we should find balance instead of really digging into us and our core motivation and um, what works for us. I love that you said that Hillary. It it is so true. It's like, there's no shortage of great advice out there. It's just, is it great advice for you and right now? So how are you helping or how do you see people being helped by the Enneagram and understanding their type to help kind of navigate through burnout and maybe even start to notice it. Yeah, absolutely. So really, I, you know, I hit on this just a little bit ago. It's about that motivation, right? When you know the motivation behind your behaviors, right? It starts with this self-knowledge, right? So you, you learn your type. You're like, oh, this is all this good information, about myself. I'm learning what motivates me. I'm learning how I'm perceived in the world. I'm learning how um, others perceive me, right? It's all information. And then that next step is observation. So not only knowing that about yourself, it's one thing to know it about yourself and it's another thing to observe it real time. Mm. So when you can begin to see that, oh, I'm doing this behavior or action because it relates to what motivates me, right? So just observing that in action, that's the first step is, well, the first two steps, knowing yourself, knowing who you are. And then the second step is starting to observe that and start to becoming aware of your emotional and behavioral patterns. So, oh, I'm noticing that I'm being a little bit more direct or I'm noticing that I'm starting to starting to withdraw. Why is that? And asking yourself those questions is paying attention 
to that. Um, and that's really that first step, that, that, that self-knowledge and self-observation. And then once you're able to observe your trends, then you can start using what I call the Enneagram toolbox mm -hmm. <laughs> to help you push through, overcome, um, and validate mm -hmm. those um, recurring obstacles that tend to lead into burnout. Okay. And you had mentioned as a type three in your own experience, you didn't even realize that you were burnt out. Are there other types that struggle to also identify that are coming up for you that, that maybe we could talk about as, as some specific examples? Yeah. So, um, looking at the assertive triad, the three, seven, mm -hmm. eight, they're the pushers. Um, it's very comfortable for them to push. Um, also you looking, you're looking at like the one, um, it's very, uh, those are the types that it's harder for them to realize that they are burnt out just because they are pushers by nature. They don't spend a lot of time thinking about the energy that they're taking to do things versus it's going to be really easy for a five to realize they're burnt out because they have such an attention to their energy and resources, right? It's going to be easier for a, um, <clears throat> a two to realize they're burnt out because twos and nines, the same thing is because they're like, oh, I literally have nothing left to get. Mm. Like they feel, feel that to where if you look at like for me, the three, I was like, giving was giving me rewards. Like, I don't care as long as I'm getting. And so I wasn't, it was, it's not, a, I wasn't tuned into my body. Yeah. Right. And that's, that's a whole, like, you know, looking at the toolbox that we have, you know, being, you know, more body repressed, um, you know, integrating my centers has helped, you know, with that. And so that's, I mean, that's step, step down the road, but it's, yeah, for those types, the, the assertive triads so of three, seven and eight. And then I've also noticed the one, um, in that as well, like the, the types that you look at and are like, they're pushers, right. Where they are, um, they take action. They, you know, not in the body sense, take action. Right. But like, they are just like doers, um, and goals and the next thing, right? So you look at three and eight goals, eight's action, seven's the next thing, right? Right. 